Hello my dear crafters, so today I have a great project for you for Valentine's. It's a little box where you can put your chocolate with, and that's the, that's the trick here, we're going to use acetate for the lid. Because then you can see, because you buy these beautiful heart-shaped or Hershey's uh, nuggets, you can use those as well. And you want them to be seen, so use acetate. And I'll have the link below to the one that I use. It has to be heavy duty, otherwise it will not work. It will be too flimsy, okay? But look at that, and you can decorate the lid of your box or just leave it as is. I just could not resist adding something else, and I added this little bow uh, because it goes really well with the gold. As I said before, you can also use for the same box, and that's the box we're making together today, Hershey Nuggets. It fits this kind of chocolate, which I'll have the link below. It fits the Hershey Nuggets, and I, it's what I did with this one. Since it fits four, I said perfect for love. Or even if you have the Hershey Kisses. So all three chocolates will fit. You just put a lot of these inside. It's a great size box. Let me just tell you here, it's four and a quarter by one and a half. Four and a quarter by one and a half, but perfect, absolutely perfect for Valentine. So let's move to the tutorial and you learn how to make this cute little box. So for the base, you're going to need a piece of paper that is seven and a qu one quarter inches by four and a half, okay? And for the top, for your lid, you need a piece of acetate that is five and one quarter by two and a half. That's because it's much smaller because we don't want, well, I didn't want it to go all the way down. So it stops kind of two thirds down. If you want it to go all the way down, just make it the same size as your base, okay? Because it will go all the way down, but I, I like, even though even though this is uh, acetate, so it will still show if it goes all the way down. So it's really personal preference, but I make the lid a little bit smaller. So, and just so you know, for this kind of uh, acetate it has to be heavy duty i buy this one and i'll have the link below this works fine it's it is heavy duty and it's clear and uh, you can find it on amazon i'll have the link below for you okay if you use just regular flimsy acetate it's not really going to work well so we have our paper here let's score and we're going to score it on the seven and a quarter um, size, we're going to score it, let me see, six, yeah, that will be fine then. We're going to score in three and three quarters of an inch. I'm going to zoom in, because I know you guys like to see it closer. There you go. So three quarters of an inch, one and a half, five and three quarters and six and a half. Then you're going to turn it and we're going to score it three quarters again because it's the same height. So three quarters, one and a half, three, and three and three quarters. So that's all the scoring done. We'll do the lid later, okay? So let's fold the scoring line. So I am going to have this outside, the hearts, and I want the dark side in. Let me just see, because with this, hmm, I think it looks, this, this side will look better inside, so. But I have already have a dark one, so yeah, so that's what I'll do. So let's just score, finish all the scoring lines, because it always makes it easier. And this paper is beautiful, it's by Echo Park. You might have seen it on my Valentine's haul. So here's what we're gonna do. We have, let me show the other side, it's easier I think for you to see. You have three 
squares here one two three we're going to cut them all off out okay so here here so you're going to cut all three on all sides and then I'll show you what else to do so there so that's what you do that's the first thing you do we're going to have this folding this way so for that we're just going to cut here and I usually cut it at an angle so I'll show you how to do two sides and then I'll just do the rest so that's what you have we're going to do the same thing here on this side so I'm going to actually zoom out a little bit so you always cut this three because we're doing the reinforced box okay and by the way I have a great tutorial for Lidded boxes, I'll have the link below for you because it teaches you how to customize any size of lidded boxes depending on the object that you're going to put inside. I teach you how to make the reinforced, which is this kind here, and just the basic box. So that's what we have on one side and we're going to do the same on the other. Basically, cut the three squares off and then just cut this, cut here, okay? So we're going to do the same here, here, and cut the three parts. So here we are. So we have D, that's what it should look like. And here, all we need to do now is to glue. So what we do is we're going to close and glue the sides first, and then we're going to fold this in, all four sides, okay? And that's why I call it a reinforced box, because you will have all four sides reinforced. So just glue these two here, these two flaps, and then you're going to actually cover. Make sure that the edge here is perfectly set. Do the other side, same thing. Hold it for a little bit. I usually do that and then I use my bone folder just to strengthen it, push it, push it down. So we have two sides here. We're going to do the same on this side. So put some glue on both laps. And then this lap is actually going to be reinforced when you close it in. So again, there you go. I have some extra glue here, which I will remove. One side. That's the other one. So hold it for a little bit to make sure that it's set. I'm going to use my bone fold to press it down. And this is why we we'll call it reinforced, right? So let me just fold it back so you can see. So we're actually going to fold this in and glue, fold this in and glue. So it will reinforce all sides will be double double layers of paper, okay? And the one thing I will usually do is I push, push it down to see if it's catching anywhere sometimes this is catching and you just need to trim it off a little bit but usually it's fine so this one is fine i'm going to press it down get your bone folder there especially on the here on the on the corner so i press it down because you're going to see this box and these sides that you're going to glue and fold in and glue, everything will be seen. So make sure that it looks good. So press it down, press it on the corners here. And now, because I add, we added another layer of paper, the large, you know, the long sides here, they may be catching on the side. See, this, this side is a little bit too tight, and that's fine. We're just going to trim a little hair, and that should take care of that. So it's catching on the other side. We're gonna do the same because we just added a new layer of paper so sometimes that happens which is fine all you need to do is now glue and I like to do this when the, my boxes are small like this one that I can use a 12 by 12 or even 6 by 6 I usually opt for reinforced boxes because I think they're well they are sturdier 
and I think they look nicer. And especially if you have a double-sided paper like, paper like I have, in this case here, it's gorgeous when you turn it in and then you have the contrast of two beautiful matching papers. So there you are, we have one side is good. I'm going to do the other one again, let's try it. Oh, this side is good, this side, this side is fine. Doesn't need any extra trimming, so I'm going to add some glue here. Push it in. Now it's catching. Oh, come on. It's fine. I just press it down. There you go. Hold it. Really press it. And we have our little base. So that's ready and look how beautiful it is. You don't see you see this is folded so it's it just looks so nice. Look at that. The edges are fine. Just press it in so that it's rectangle. Look at that. I love to make these reinforced boxes with double-sided paper because it usually looks beautiful. So now let's do the top, the lid. So we have our acetate here. Let me just make sure that <clears throat> and just so you know which kind of glue should you use the best one is a double-sided adhesive like this dry always dry look what happens I tested a lot of different ones look what happens if you use liquid glue it glues but who wants that right <clears throat> and this one is a clear it dries clear but still look at that <clears throat> so the best one is the liquid uh, the dry double-sided you still see a little bit but it's really not much especially because what we're going to do is to cut the sides I'll show you how so that you have just a tiny space showing with the glue so we're going to score it and here here is the most important thing this is for any lidded box that you make if you score it at this with the same scoring as the base it's not going to close of course it's going because they're going to go like this they'll never it needs to be a little bit wider so that it closes as a lid and how do you do that it's very easy so here we're going to do the same thing we're going to score at three quarters oh sorry no because this one is is actually shorter so this one is uh it's not it doesn't go all the way down so it's ha actually half an inch that we're going to do but I'm going to zoom in because this is really really important if you don't do this it's not going to work so basically we need to score at half an inch right that's what we need but we don't score it at half an inch without moving the paper you have to move the paper like one hair honestly it's like one sixteenth of an inch to the right so so because you when you do that if I had scored here and you move the paper to the left to the right you push it to the right this is actually going to be a little bit wider so that's what you do but guys let me show you with uh, with a ruler honestly because you really have to understand this so I would have let me see how close I can go without losing the there you go this is a quarter of an inch here this is one eighth of an inch it's half of that so it's really just leave this little tiny space here because if you do more than that it's going to be too loose so that's what i'm doing right now i am moving just a little tiny bit hold it in place and i'll score it at half an inch and i'm going to do the same thing on all four sides i'm going to push it a hair it's really 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 tiny and again score it at half an inch and you do it on all four sides okay because it has to be done on all of them
and we are done I'm going to zoom out because you need to see what I'm doing here there you go it's hard to see the acetate but all you're going to do is the same thing that we did so we're going to fold it in on all four sides see how how sturdy this acetate is but they are lo it is lovely and I got some glue here but that's fine move away uh, this is really great even I made the other day a set of cards for a friend and I made the whole box just acetate I can actually I think I'm gonna have a tutorial on that so because you make your beautiful cards and then you hide it in a in a paper box that nobody sees so okay so here's what we're gonna do we're going to cut here and here this is easier because it's not it's not reinforced so you cut here and here and this is going to fold in like that and we're also going to do something here I don't want this whole square here showing see how big this square is I'm gonna cu cut like one third of that because if you have less of a surface it's not going to show the glue see just cut it one third it's so hard to show but look, look at that so I just cut a little bit here I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and again cut a little space here so it's not the full size and we're going to add this adhesive so it's very easy so here here is the flap that's what you're gonna do just going to add a little bit of dry don't use liquid dry adhesive and I'm gonna do that on all four sides and I'll be back so I'm back and I have see all four with my double-sided adhesive now comes the struggle on how to take it off usually honestly what works the best is my nail <laughs> you buy we buy all these tools and then sometimes you just realize that the easiest thing to do is not to use a tool look at that <laughs> it's unbelievable isn't it <laughs> anyway so here we go so now we're going to fold it in and make sure that it's aligned and I usually because it's a strong adhesive and use good tape but it doesn't hurt to reinforce it right so I use my bone folder and I reinforce it so we're gonna do the same here press it down there you go uh -huh. so there we go one more one more side and this one is all crooked see how strong it is even hard to there you go all good now last one and if you have a little tiny hair of sometimes that happens to lids just cut it off you don't want that to be showing yeah this one is fine all the rest is fine just press it up and press it in a little bit and you have your lid I am going to use also a little bit of shred because I like to use that in my my projects I don't know it just it makes it very festive I think so we're gonna add a little bit just a little bit it does hide the paper though that's fine you go through all the trouble of choosing the paper and then you hide it with shreds seriously okay so for this one I press it in like this we're going to do this beautiful Hershey um, what are they called Hershey nuggets L O V E love how cute is that I love it yeah, and I think I'm going let me see if we're going to decorate this one so look at that it's perfect I think I'm gonna you know what I am gonna take all these out because I think the Hershey's are a little bit taller 
than those hearts. So I think it would just look not no too low. <laughs> I would just put like a little tiny bit. I know guys, details, details. But I like it. I like details. I think it makes that's what makes a difference in what you make. There you go. There's always one that's too long. There you go. So perfect L O. Do this to yours if you use Hershey Nuggets. Just put the words love. How cute is that? I love it. So there you go. We have our little box. I was thinking of adding. Let me see if that's going to work. If it doesn't, then I'll just leave it as is. I was going to work to just add this, but I don't think so. It takes away from the love. So there you go. We have a beautiful box. Perfect here on the side. And that's our tutorial for today. We have three here. Can be horizontal, vertical, whichever way you want. It fits it all. And also, if you want to use your Hershey's, your kisses, it fits those as well. So, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And please do like the video and leave a comment, all of that. The algorithm loves that. <laughs> and it really helps us. Thank you so much and you have a great day. Mm -hmm.